think it's time we get into crypto. All right, crypto total. Let's go to the total right here. Okay. Look at this. So what is going on with the total for crypto? Here is your massively ridiculous downtrending parallel channel, which we've been flirting with the midpoint line forever. Let's go to a three-day chart that gives us a little bit better view. So what, what has been happening with crypto? The, the, crypto has been following this pattern. I think it's a really stupid pattern. Basically, what, it, what keeps happening is we get a decline, we get a bear flag, we get a decline, we get a bear flag, we get a decline, we get a bear flag, we get a decline. And all I can see happening here is we've got another bear flag. Eventually, this bear flag is going to break down and we will get another decline. This is this is was a bear flag decline, you know, and look, look how fast it happened. OK, we had how many days of September 21st to November 7th consolidation. And really, all this is is building liquidity, building liquidity, building liquidity, buying, 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 rally. Distribution, how long was the distribution? October 26th to November 8th. So about a week and a half, two weeks of distribution. And then boom, one, two days, two day dump. That's it. Now we're doing it again. So how long did this last? September. So from the, the last big decline, here's like your dump. Oh, and you ended up here. So September 19th to November 6th, almost two months, a month and a half. Now, what about this time? We went from November 9th to December 14th. So again, we're almost at a month and a half. Well, if we you know, can see we're coming into this final kind of resistance zone and on RSI, we have, let me get rid of that. RSI daily, you know, something like this, right? Kind of breaking down right here. There's your breakdown, like that. And you can see we're already on the other side. It's not clear. You're just kind of sitting in this VIP channel. However, they did take out all the stops right here, right? They went all the way up here, all the way up, took out everyone all the way to here. All Anyone that had a short trade from post November 11th, the entire past month, just got stopped out, taken out. If they said their stops at break even, they thought, yeah, I'm in great profits. It's going to dump. Everything's going to fall apart. They all got stopped out. Why did that happen? Because market makers needed to generate liquidity. They need liquidity to then actually dump the market. They got to exit their positions, exit their long positions, get into short positions, take money from retail traders to then execute the final move. Do I think it's going to happen tomorrow? I don't know. I think it depends on the S&P. I think you're still in this channel. We could still play with this like this. But when the S&P really rolls over, I, I think crypto is going to roll over hard. Okay, look at Bitcoin. What, what happened? This, this was such like a trap. It was such a trap. And I, I thought it was funny how many people were getting bullish. There were so many people getting bullish up here. Like Bitcoin's breaking out. Bitcoin's Bitcoin's going to go to 20,000 again. Bitcoin's going to do it. Everyone got so excited. And then boom, instant reversal. Like just absolute destruction. Uh, I, I think, you know, until that total chart breaks out, you really have to temper your bullish excitement. And you can see this just looks like a bear flag. Well, I don't, I don't see... I don't see the bullish case here. All this is, is a bear flag. And all it's getting ready to do is this. Doop, doop. And boop, boop. Right like that. Right into my DCA zone, which is down here. This is my DCA zone. 7,800 to 12,700. That area is my big DCA zone. I don't. I don't, I don't see anything else. And that's the completion of my five wave series. It also completes at around the $12,200 area. Is that going to be the bottom? I'm not sure. I think you could get a year or two of oscillation in here. You could go up and down 50% in this DCA area. So, you know, I, I just don't see the bullish case. I mean, okay. So if we look at the total, so what's a 26% decline from here? Where does that bring us to 26%? 26% is 12,000. 800. So, so if, if it follows exactly what the total index says, we'll go to 12,800. I think anywhere below 13,000 is a decent buying opportunity.